Hi, it's David in the Stained Glass Studio. Uh, today, I'm, I'm getting ready to, to do my famous diamond for, uh, for a project. And I uh, see I've got several uh, places here where I've had diamonds and the layout is kind of confusing if I put another one. So I'm going to sand this part of my work table off. You see, when I bring my uh, strip cutter down, I very often run the wheel. It gets on here and it makes these scratches. So I think I'll get rid of those, get rid of this bottom reference line and this, and then I'll put new lines on it and we'll be ready to start cutting these diamonds. Using a really thick uh, sandpaper. This is actually designed for touching up flooring. And it works pretty good. I don't have that off. I'm not going to take it off to show you what the grid is, but it's one of those really small numbers. smooth and flat. It's, it's still got some of those uh, marks that, uh, that I've got from scratches with the glass uh, strip cutter, but look at that. It's so much smoother. So now I, I can just sweep it off and I'll, I've got a, a dustpan and a brush right here. So here I am sweeping it off. And now I'll be able to put my new marks on here. And uh, I, won't, I won't have to get confused. I had a black mark and a red mark down here for the, uh, for the square. And uh, I would sometimes wonder if I'm supposed to follow, which one I'm supposed to follow. So that'll be handy. I will now, what I thought I'd do here is I would start with a square. Now that square is a drafting square and there's no way you can confuse which way it ought to go. It's definitely square with the strip on the table. So now I can take a Sharpie pen And that is definitely square. Now I'll take another square that will go out. It'll extend the line. You see, I've uh, I've gone up a bit from my original line, so I'll so I'm starting over with a good square piece. Now I take this. This is also a drafting square. But look, I want to show you something. See that? See how it kind of wiggles up and down? So one place or another it's square, but it's not necessarily square at every place that you put it. So I don't really want to rely on that. I want to rely on this mark here. See now I can see that the mark is going right along this edge. This isn't even touching. So it looks to me like this line extends out and now I've got a square reference line all the way across my table. Okay, so now we go to the diamond. Here's the diamond that I'm going to be putting in this pattern here. I've already got some of the 
uh, corded pieces that are going to go around here, cut, and down in here, this is the field that will be filled with diamond pieces. Well, it's a different shape than other ones that I've done. So I want to lay it out here on the table. And it's pretty much the same as I always do. I put the diamond down here. Alright, so that's the diamond shape. That's what we'll be cutting out. And I want to then extend this line out. It's kind of a reference. So that I'll know where my uh, glass ought to line up. And there it is. Extend it out. And that's going to help me to cut my diamond shapes. So I might as well show you how I do that. I've done other videos that show how to do this. But since we're here, we might as well do it. Now, what we know about this piece of glass is that we want all of the lines. See, there's, there's these lines in the glass. We want them all to go the same direction. So, as we work on this, we want to start our diamond to go in, in this direction pattern in this direction. You see it's going up and down. Over here it's not. So we have to orient our glass Sorry. we have to orient our glass in such a way that it'll be going up and down see and so what I'm doing here Okay, that pretty much looks like it's going up and down. I can tilt it a little more. And I think I'm going to come back a little bit. Okay, so right there... That kind of gives us our diamond shape up and down on this piece of glass. Hoo hoo. Okay, so why is that important? Well, then we'll be able to use the strip cutter. Okay, this is establishing our our cut angle. Look at that. See it? It's lined up. The one down below is lined up with the one up above. Now we can set our glass cutter. Uh, 
took a little edge off of that. I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's very close. This little edge here keeps it from going right up against the the table very tightly. So what you sometimes want to do is just hit it and it will dig right into your strip, your wooden strip, and that will give you the, the edge that you need. And there we go. Now, to get diamonds out of this, you have to line your piece of glass up this way and cut the diamond shape here. Well, what I like to do I, is leave this T-square cutter at the same setting Now one of the things that I do is try and I keep my square set at all times so that all the diamonds come out right. But when I set my square, I like it to be in. See, I'm not, uh, I'm kind of cutting on the outside of the line and I want to cut right on the inside of the line. And that way I'll have a little extra room when I cut these diamonds, because I'm going to cut them all out the same size. So that's the first one, and it'll work. It'll work out. It'll go right over here. And it's going to go. Right here, I'll cut it off so that the diamond doesn't overlap. And there we go. Well, all of these pieces, I'll cut these diamonds out now and trim them so that at the corner pieces they'll fit and so forth. And that's how we're going to accomplish making this window. So, yeah, it was a little long way to get there, but I think. Uh, and after we get done with it, I'll try and put up a picture of, of the piece cut out. Another thing, as you're cutting your diamonds, you're going to want to put a line on here so that you can see that this is up and down. And you also want to know that this is the top of the glass. It's really easy to get this stuff upside down, and you won't know it until... Until you start, uh, at, you know, it will have been, I mean, it's easy to get it turned upside down in this process. It's easy when you start uh, foiling it. And, uh, man, you don't want to have, because when it's done, all of a sudden you'll look at it and say, oh, that's a beautiful window except for that one piece that's upside down. You don't want that to happen. So put a mark on the top here. This is elementary. You, it's, it's. Thing, something that can easily be done and it'll save you so much time and effort. Okay. Really did. So, hello, it's Jeannie in the Glass Studio and I just wanted to talk to you for a minute about this piece that uh, David started and he told you a little bit about. One thing I wanted to tell you is while I, um, that I definitely had to grind the edges of these because they had some shards sticking out. It was like knives. <laughs> 
It was really sharp in some places. So just be careful. This is called corded glass. So be careful with uh, some of these um, textured glass pieces that are really sharp on the edges. So just wanted to warn you about that. So David has these all cut out and I am just foiling them one at a time. Okay, another tip. So these are, are pretty tight and so some of them I'm having a hard time getting this out so I use a nail. So just a tip for you. And then I'm going to, as you see, I've done quite a lot of it. So I'm just gonna continue to do the foiling, making sure it's right down the center every time. Give it a little clip, fold it over and do the pinch. All the way around corners like you're wrapping a package. To say like you were making a bed but there are fitted sheets now so and then I'm gonna burnish it down with my fid and these little squiggle lines are what David put on there to make sure that we have the right side up sometimes I can tell on this um, artique glass because you can kind of feel the artique places but it's not it, it doesn't stand out very much so putting the little squiggly line helps a lot so uh, yeah that's really amazing to me that uh, the copper almost disappears because of the color of the glass so <laughs> you don't, don't even hardly see it so hopefully I get all the pieces right. so anyway that's it I'm just going to continue to foil away and then the next step will be soldering all right so there you go Thanks for joining us in the Stained Glass Studio. It's David Gom. You can like this video if you liked it. You can please put comments. I really enjoy it. I've gotten some great comments recently. In fact, I got one comment about uh, cutting zinc uh, using a different saw. And so I ordered that different saw and we're going to see it in another video to see how good it works. Don't even know. I haven't ever tried it. So anyhow, thanks for being with us. We appreciate your your input and we love having you here. Thanks. Let's...